Hey, hi, hello, and welcome to my channel where we do talk all things true crime. My name is Tanya, and if you are new to my channel, hello, hi, and welcome. And if you're a returning Titan, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for yet another upload. So I basically wanted to show you this from our live from last night. If you were not able to catch the whole like two, two and a half, three hour live that we did covering the Idaho four case, I wanted to just bring this little bit of information to the forefront. We've all been speculating since really since this happened, um, you know, who was the first victim and all of this? Was it Kaylee, Maddie, Zana, or Ethan? We heard the judge read off their names a certain way in the court docket when he went to court on January 6th and then again on May 22nd. When they read off the names, they read them as Maddie, Kaylee, Zana, and then Ethan. So there's a couple different ways that this could happen. And so I'm going to go over those two different ways that I believe that this could be. Now, the first one is going to be the obvious reason, maybe because this is the way that they were um, unalived. But the others, other reason could be because of their ages. So I did make a little short video for you guys, and we're going to go through that now. We have Maddie Mae Mogan, born May 25th, 2001. She is the oldest out of the four. We have Kayla Gonzalez, Kaylee Jade Gonzalez, June 8th, 2001. Xana Kernodal, she's going to be born July 5th, 2002. And last but not least, we have Ethan Chapin. He was born as a triplet, October 28th, 2002. So now I'm going to show you the videos from the court appearances. And you guys just let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think they listed them in order because of their ages, going from oldest to youngest? Or do you think that they went in order of the unalivings? And I'm sorry that I have to use that word, but YouTube is just bad sometimes. So let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'm going to play these videos for you. I'm going to play you the first one is going to be from his arraignment back in January. And I'm just going to show you where they're talking about the names and that you can hear the names in order. And then we're going to go to the second video. Count one of the criminal complaint charges you with the felony offense of burglary. It alleges that the defendant, Brian C. Koberger, on or about November 13th of 2022, in Latah County, State of Idaho, did unlawfully enter a residence located at 1122 King Road, Moscow, with the intent to commit the felony crime of murder in violation of Idaho Code 18-1401 and 1403. The maximum penalty for that offense, if you plead guilty or are found guilty, is not less than one year in prison, no more than 10 years in prison, and or a $50,000 fine or both. Do you understand? Yes. Count two alleges that you committed the felony offense of murder in the first degree. It alleges that the defendant, Brian C. Koberger, on or about November 13, 2022, in Latah County, State of Idaho, did willfully, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation and with malice of forethought, kill and murder Madison Mogan, a human being, by stabbing Madison Mogan from which she died. In violation of Idaho Code 18-4001, 4002, 4003, and 4004. The maximum penalty for this offense, if you were to plead guilty or be found guilty, is death or imprisonment for life. Do you understand? Yes. Count three alleges that you committed a felony offense of murder in the first degree. It alleges that the defendant, Brian C. Koberger, on or about November 13th of 2022 in Latah County, State of Idaho, did willfully, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation and with malice of forethought, kill and mur murder Kaylee Gonsalves, a human being, by stabbing Kaylee Gonsalves, from which she died. In violation of Idaho Code 18-4001, 4002, 4003, 4004. Again, the maximum penalty for that offense, if you plead guilty or are found guilty, is death and or imprisonment for life. Do you understand? Yes. Count four alleges that you committed the felony offense of murder in the first degree. It alleges that the defendant, Brian C. Koberger, on or about November 13th of 2022 in Latah County, Idaho, 
uh, did willfully, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation and with malice aforethought, kill and murder Zanna Kernodal, a human being, by stabbing Zanna Kernodal, from which she died, in violation of Idaho Code 18-4001, 4002, 4003, and 4004. Again, the maximum penalty for that offense, if you plead guilty or are found guilty, is up to death and or imprisonment for life. Do you understand? Yes. Count five alleges that you committed the felony offense of murder in the first degree. It alleges that the defendant, Brian C. Kohlberger, on or about November 13th of 2022, in Latah County, state of Idaho, did willfully, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation and with malice aforethought, kill and murder Ethan Chapin, a human being, Okay, so there is the four that she just read off the four names. She read them off as Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonzalez, Zana Kernodal, and Ethan Chapin. I'm going to move over to the second video, and we're going to play this, and I'm going to, we're going to listen to how she, um, I'm sorry, how Judge Judge, the new judge, how he words them, the names listed. All right, I'm going to read you uh, the charges on the indictment, starting with count one. Burglary, that is a felony under Idaho Code Section 18-1401 and 1403. This alleges that you, on or about November 13, 2022, in Latah County, State of Idaho, did unlawfully enter a residence located at 1122 King Road, Moscow, with the intent to commit the felony crime of murder. Count two. Murder in the first degree. That is a felony under Idaho Code Section 18-4001, 4002, 4003, and 4004. This alleges that you, on or about November 13, 2022, in Latah County, State of Idaho, did willfully, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation and with malice of forethought, kill and murder Madison Mogan a human being by stabbing Madison Mogan from which she died. Count three, murder in the first degree, a felony under Idaho Code Section 18-4001, 4002, 4003, and 4004. This alleges that you, on or about November 13, 2022, in Latah County, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation, and with malice aforethought, kill and murder Kayla Gonzalez, a human being, by stabbing Kayla, or Kayla Gonzalez, from which she died. Count four, murder in the first degree. That's a felony under Idaho Code Section 18-4001, 4002, 4003, and 4004 alleging that you, on or about November 13, 2022, in Latah County, State of Idaho, did willfully, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation and with malice of forethought, kill and murder Zaina Kernodal, Kernodal, excuse me, this is hard, I'm sorry, Zaina, Zaina Kernodal, Kernodal, a human being, by stabbing Zaina Kernodal, from which she died. Count five, murder in the first degree. This is a felony under Idaho Code Section 18-4001, 4002, 4003, and 4004. This alleges that you, on or about November 13, 2022, in Latah County, State of Idaho, did willfully, unlawfully, deliberately, with premeditation and with malice of forethought, kill and murder Ethan Chapin, a human being, by stabbing Ethan Chapin, from which he died. This was signed on May 16, 2023, by the presiding grand jury, juror. So now I'm going to go to the maximum penalties. Okay, so there it is. They went and they read them off the same way. First person that they read off was Madison Mogan, Kaylee Gonzalez, Zana Kernodal, and then Ethan Chapin. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think it is 
coincidence that they read this off, which I don't think that is a coincidence. Do you think it went by the way that they were unalived or do you think that it went by the way that they were born? Do you think it just went, you know, oldest to um, youngest? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.